is just one dime a scam. Seth doesn't even make money selling Amazon. He makes money selling lies and coaching to people, not from Amazon products. I have no doubt his Amazon automation program is a complete and utter scam. Look at the eBay phone holder I know and the scrap holding the holding shelves. Anyone doing automation is a scam. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Just One Scam. Well, there you have it. Just One Dime is a scam. Wait a second. This is not a scam. There's so much crap on the internet right now. I'm so glad I took this risk to, you know, start an online business. What are you going to do when you hit those roadblocks? They help you through those because they already went through those roadblocks. So you don't have to. I can tell you right now, it's 100% worth it. So which is it? Is Just One Dime a scam or not? Wait, wait, wait. I know what you're thinking. Is this guy who works for Just One Dime really about to impartially debate whether or not the company he works for is a scam? No, in fact, that's not the main purpose of this video. That's not what I'm doing here. In fact, I'm going to expose what I consider to be Just One Dime's flaws. Along the way, I'm going to clear up some misinformation that's out there like this. How can you charge for the course and take a profit cut? There is no scenario in which you get a course and we do a profit share. That makes zero sense. Before we get to more of that, why this guy? I'm I'm Jay, by the way. I'm content manager for Just One Dime. It was my idea to host this video instead of Seth because out of everyone in the Austin team, I have the least amount of skin in the game. And here's what I mean by that. I get job offers unsolicited every single day. I honestly have the least at stake. I actively wanted to be here because you deserve to know what it just one dime is flawed and what is great. In fact, this video wasn't even Seth's idea. I'm gonna save the juicy bits for a bit later. So stay to the end and I'm going to reveal a conspiracy that's going to blow your mind. And before you say it, Seth isn't hiding in the corner with a kill switch or a knife under the table if I say the wrong thing. In fact, he has no idea what we're even recording right now. Now, before we talk about whether Just One Dime is a scam or not, we have to go broader because Just One Dime teaches you how to sell on Amazon. So if Amazon FBA, as we call it, is a scam, then Just One Dime is like a second tier scam, right? And this is not a fringe idea. You have this ranking post on Reddit and so many Amazon seller forum posts every day complaining about Amazon customer service and their fees. They don't necessarily outright call it a scam a lot of the time, but they do say that it's either impossible to make it and those that have made it are either lucky, they're outliers, or they just got in so long ago. This brings us to our first Just One Dime flaw. Amazon FBA is hard. Yeah, it is hard. Most Amazon FBA businesses fail. In fact, less than half of all Amazon FBA businesses are still selling after one year of starting. In 2021, 1,029,528 new sellers joined Amazon according to eDesk. 400,703 of them joined the US marketplace. But let's go back to those earlier comments of impossible or nearly impossible. 200,000 of them in the US. Let's let's say for the sake of argument, 2,000 you know, succeed in the US marketplace, the competitive US marketplace. I don't know about you, but that seems pretty not impossible to me. And think of how many of those sellers actually got adequate training. Fact, most of Amazon sales go to third-party sellers. Fact, most of Amazon sales have been going to third-party sellers since 2017. Just One Dime exists because Amazon FBA is hard. We sometimes see internet comments taking shots at Seth because he makes Amazon FBA sound too easy. Whenever someone promises you an easy way to make money, just ask yourself if this is so easy, so cheap, so fast, and so safe, why isn't everyone doing it? Well, because it's not. And uh, play the clip. Building a business is hard. You will fail lots. You will grow a lot. <laughs> you might even cry a lot along the way. 
So if this scares the heck out of you, that's good. I'm glad because that means you realize building a business as an Amazon is not easy. And yet it is one of the most life-changing things you can do. So don't let people BS you. It's not out there and doing all the showy stuff because that's not what it is. It's hardcore hustle. You can have reasons not to like Seth. Uh, for me, he's my boss, so. Uh, we have sort of a problem here. But saying that he hasn't made it clear that FBA is hard is not one of them. But by far the biggest amount of internet backlash we get is. The question always is, if it's so damn profitable, why not do it yourself instead of wasting time by helping others achieve similar results? Why does he sell a program versus just launch millions of products himself? Sounds great, Mr. Guru. So why aren't you earning money that way? Why not do it himself? Look at the eBay phone holder and the scrap wood holding up the shelves behind him. That dude ain't rich. And that's actually Jod's next problem. Why teach someone to sell on Amazon if selling on Amazon itself is the best business model? And that was actually my number one question when I first interviewed at Just One Dime. And I never truly understood why until I got to know Seth. Here it is. Seth can't help it. And I don't think I told this directly to Seth's face before, but he's a workaholic. I'm I'm not. If I just had like five, three million dollars, I would just be fine to just not work just to have my time back. Take it easy, uh, live modestly just to not work. Seth, on the other hand, has two motivations. Number one is growth. If you look at how he lives, you might ask where is all of his wealth? They're in investments. You can actually stay at some of his investments because many of those are properties. Number two is obsession. And I can relate to this. Let me explain what I mean. I used to mentor for a group of writers before Just One Dime. And the amount of gratitude that they just heaped onto me, it kept me going. And Seth, even before Just One Dime, he received that time, times 10, times 100. And the amount of fulfillment that gives you, it's addicting. It, this is where Seth finds fulfillment. You know, he could, he could make more money selling on Amazon, but this is why he does it. Flaw, Amazon FBA mastery lessons have not always been perfect. What happens when you click on the link in the pinned comment below? It will take to a page where you learn more about the Just One Dime membership, Amazon FBA Mastery. And if and when you want to, you click the apply button, ask for your name and email. It'll take you through a series of steps. And at the end, you schedule to meet with one of our team members over a video or phone. Once you meet with them, They'll discuss what's the best option for you. And if what's best for you is one of our trainings, they'll direct you to the best option for you to purchase. No matter which plan you go with, you'll have access to our five lesson courses. And yes, they exist. When I joined Just One Dime in January 2020, I took the entire lesson, all the courses. And I was asked, hey, would you give feedback for this? And yes. I gave feedback. So here's some of the things I asked for. I asked for a revamp of the start section where we can include a lesson about some of the terminology that you would want and need to know early on. Also making it less intimidating that way. I also asked for a comparison between US product designers and Chinese product designers, pros and cons of each, stuff like that. A lesson on Amazon brand accelerator, which to be fair was pretty new at the time. Less of less lessons covering the same things. There was a lot of cross pollination between the different lessons. And guess what? Every single thing that I just mentioned has been implemented and then some. And everybody who had the membership back then, they have the membership today. So they see all of those improvements too, which is especially good when Amazon changes because Amazon is always changing and there's new things, new programs coming out like Amazon Brand Accelerator. I don't mean to imply that Amazon FBA Mastery is perfect, perfect now, but I've seen some of our competitors and let's just say that the work that Seth, Dan, Caleb, Josiah, myself, our graphic designers, our editors, our web designers, the sweat that we put into this is, you can just tell 
versus our competitors. But when it came to updating, Seth went too far in this. And this leads us into our next flaw. Seth over prioritizes the just one dime members and clients who have already paid. My arm of just one dime falls under the content and marketing side of things. So when Seth, our face of the company and lead teacher, content creator, goes off and handles the business side of things, what do you think that does to like our YouTube branch? We, we can't make as much stuff for our YouTube videos and, and whatnot. And so I'm stuck holding the bag. I am trying to grow this precious sub count. But Seth, he is off and providing to those members and clients who have already paid. So please help us out with this YouTube algorithm by liking this video right now and subscribe if you haven't already. If you think I'm just kidding that I'm being facetious, I am 100% serious. By us marketing more by, uh, you know, going outside of managing the people. I mean, I, I know it grows good word of mouth, but if we market more and we try to just bring in new money, that does three things, especially from my perspective. One, I get to do more of what I love, which is write and direct videos like this one. Two, it means that things like raises for me are based on my performance and not the company's performance. Three, the existence of my position is not tied to the company finances. I mentioned clients before, just just now. So let's talk about the pink elephant. I don't want it to be the main focus of this video, but done for you is the part where just when dime gets called scam more than anywhere else. It all starts with this video. Uh, actually, actually, not that video. I, I, mean, I mean, yes, that video, but I, it starts with this video. So first of all, the title, Amazon Automation, which wasn't the original title, but it was an insanely strong keyword, but it's almost as associated with scams as much as crypto is. The video left a lot of openings for skeptics and not enough details. It was originally supposed to just be for our inner circle of subscribers and whatnot. We didn't expect it to leave that, but uh, boy, did it do so very swiftly. I don't really blame CoffeeZilla here. What Running numbers? Number. What, no what numbers? Hey, what numbers? He goes to other channels, other places looking for scams. He's looking through that lens. So he, he doesn't say, oh, there's just something unexplained here that there might be details that I just don't know. He also doesn't make it a habit of making follow-up videos where, oh, there's more details now. This makes sense. That also goes for 99.9% of all media. Really Fast forward to today. And people are looking for reviews from just one dime clients. And they're also acting skeptical to anyone with anything positive to say. And you also have peeved but hopeful clients and commenters like Free Wealth in Bitcoins, who claim to be a client, saying things like, these girls with Jod are so freaking dingy. WTF. So what is actually going on? Again, I don't want to make this the big focus of the video. Communication was a big problem. The amount of support we have hired is insane. I see it. I'm partially a part of it now. Chinese manufacturing delays have hit nearly every industry worldwide. The shipping delays too. In fact, just watch this video if you're curious as to why it's taking Amazon sellers starting in 2022 much longer to get started. Done For You is sold out. Applications are closed as of the time of recording. Let's get back to the meaty things. And now, that conspiracy that I promised earlier. I have known for years that the keyword just one dime scam gets between 2,500 to 3,000 searches a month on YouTube alone, not counting Google. But we thought if we made a video about it and said, 
were not a scam, you might think something like, well, that sounds like something a scam would say. But a new awesome Jod team member wanted to make the video and let's say insisted. So when you Google is just one down a scam, what comes up? I get an ad for Center for Work Life. So in it, she basically says, no, it's not a scam, but almost in the same breath, she leaves a link for something that's better for something that she does get paid for. But this thing I make money off of is better. Are you serious? Now let's look at the second organic result for is just one dime a scam. This Reddit post here. Now I'm the first and only one in the history of Jod to have ever checked Reddit for anything related to just one dime whatsoever. So anything that they say about lawyers or asking to take down anything, complete and utter nonsense. So this post in particular, I've been monitoring for a while. When I joined Just One Dime, this post was dated before Jod actually existed as a company, probably for Google ranking. And then earlier this year, out of nowhere, this, this same post with the same exact URL got a new date updated to one for earlier this year. Scroll down and you'll see a comment thread about an alternative called wealth assistance. And if you think, that this whole post is about driving people interested in just one dime to wealth assistance, you're not alone. This Redditor, Fender1878, calls out another Redditor as fake. Based on the user history of the r slash fulfillment by Amazon moderators, they seem to be hawking competitor courses, things like that, just like the competitor on the Google ad. When you, a real user, search and you wanna know, is just one dime a scam or is just one dime legit? We offer what we say we offer. Whether or not it's worth it to you is the better question. Is just one dime worth it? Do I think that this is a scam? No. So what is a scam? If a product or service sucks, that doesn't make it a scam. If they don't fulfill what they promised or they're deceptive about it, then that's a scam. And if you want reviews, testimonials from real job students, then go to god.com slash reviews. You can also go to Google reviews and Trustpilot. Links to all three are in the description below. Just One Dime and Seth Kniep are not perfect. We are, we're always taking feedback. And I think actually that one of the reasons Seth likes to keep me around is because of how little I hold back when I give feedback. And in true story, I was looking at some of our merch and I just held nothing back. Look at how ugly this is. I had to look at it, so now you do too. So I, with absolutely zero tact, went to Seth and I, I asked, who approved this? This is so ugly. Please leave your thoughts and comments below on how Just One Dime can improve. Also, remember to please like this video, subscribe, absolutely. And I'm J. Brian Jones. Remember, be excellent to each other.